Speaking in Embu, one of the latest victims of the locust invasion, the government spokesperson said that five aircrafts and four helicopters have been deployed to spray millions of locusts that have recently been reported in Embu and Machakos counties after creating havoc in nine other counties. He said the prolonged short rains have given the insects habitable environment to thrive and defended the insecticide use in preventing the pests as safe. Kwamba serikali iko katika mstari wa mbele wa kuhakikisha kwamba nzege hawa wameangamizwa na hawajaenea katika maeneo mengine tena. Kwa hivi sasa kwa ujumla zile county ambazo zimeathirika kwa nzige ni county 11. In Migori, shock and grief engulfed Chota Kokeno Ngenge sublocation in Suna East Sub County, Migori County, after two siblings drowned in a 10 feet well in a church compound. According to the area resident chief Selina Onyango Kelo, the two and three year old siblings were alone in the power of Jesus around the world church compound when the tragedy struck. Kama Mwenzawa Likuja Kufuata Maji. Akapata kama hao watoto wawili wote wameanguka majini na tena wamesha aga. And over 300 families have been displaced by floods in Natike and Uriri areas of Migori County. The families have subsequently sought shelter in schools and churches on higher grounds, with the numbers expected to go high if the rains continue. The area leaders are calling for the construction of dams in the area, saying it will ease the residents' burden whenever there is heavy downpour. Elsewhere, Bomet Governor Hilary Barchoka suspended land housing and urban planning staff over fictitious payment to some companies for service or goods not delivered. The suspended employees are a chief officer, procurement officers, accountants, and storekeeper. The governor said that the named companies have been forwarded to ESCC for investigation. The fifth officer that we are sending on compulsory leave is Stella Chekemo who is in charge of stores. The sixth officer that we are sending on compulsory leave is Corin Wesley Plangat, who is an accountant attached to finance, specifically the area of examination. So these six officers were sending them on compulsory leave pending investigation. In another development, the national government intends to issue 1,200 title deed to members of Ngararu Group Rank Transmara West Up County in a bid to end perennial conflict that have consistently been experienced the area. Finally, the U.S. government has agreed to continue to partner with Kenya in the fight against communicable and non-communicable diseases in the country. Speaking at the Walter Reed project premises in Kericho after unveiling the new equipment at the facility, U.S. Ambassador to Kenya Kyle Makata said the new technology is one more step forward in medical research, which will translate to better health for Kenyans and the world. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Timothy Kipnosu.